do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to talk about a new concept that is known as corrosion which is under an electrochemical reaction so what is corrosion and what type of the process that takes place in this corrosion let us see so let us see what is corrosion corrosion is nothing but the deterioration of a metal by a redox process in which the metals are oxidized by oxygen in presence of moisture is known as corrosion for example a very common example that we know that is rusting of iron rusting of iron is the most common example of a corrosion corrosion leads to what corrosion leads to the destruction of a particular metal with the help of a redox reaction so there are many much more tons of metals that are been destroyed because of the nature in which the redox reaction takes place so in this case what happens is the metals that are been used for our uh, human kind that we are building uh, ships or concrete um, uh, buildings we need iron in that or for vehicle also so humans are extracting the iron but the iron cannot sustain itself because of various factors and this leads to the destruction of metal by the nature itself so this happens due to what this happens due to the presence of moisture around the metal as well as the uh, conditions uh, in which it is been kept the most uh, electro when we talk about uh, in an electrochemical uh, way then the thing is the factors like uh, the emf series suppose if a particular metal has a lower potential value uh, like uh, an oxidation uh, value then what will happen is it will try to donate electron or it will undergo oxidation process in which it will lose electron and when a metal will lose electron it will form an echo state means you are converting a particular metal into its echo state by the process of oxidation so this will happen if the reduction potential of the particular uh, of a particular element or of a particular metal is very much low or i could say it as negative so the metals which have a lower potential value have a possibility of getting corroded very much more easily so this was the first uh, criteria when a metal can corrode the second is the shape and the structure of a particular uh, metal if a shape of a particular metal uh, is not regular or there is irregularity in the structure of a particular metal then there would be the possibility that oxygen could uh, deposit over there or the moisture could deposit over there and because of since we know uh, because of the oxygen and because of the moisture the corrosion takes place so this would lead to a particular metal to corrode very easily so it can undergo corrosion very easily so this were the few factors that would result in the destruction of a material so now let us learn about the rusting of iron and let us see how this kind of moisture or why this kind of moisture uh, in present in which is which is present in air plays a very vital role in destruction of a particular metal so let us see the first example that is the mechanism of corrosion of iron in an electrochemical process continue shall we bol do chapter electrochemistry and we are doing the topic corrosion so now we are continuing this thing so we are now going to talk about how a corrosion arises in iron electrochemically suppose this is the iron metal this black bar is the iron metal and if it has to undergo an oxidation process uh, and reduction process so the oxidation pr uh, process will act on the anode side while the reduction process will act on the cathode side and this will result to the formation of rust in the presence of 
air that is in that air moisture is also present so because of this water droplet the rust take process or the uh, corrosion process of iron takes place so let me give you an example of it or let me tell you about what is the electrochemical uh, reaction that takes place at anode as well as at cathode so the electrode reaction uh, for a uh, for a corrosion of iron is at anode what happens is all as you know that always oxidation occurs so in this process this fe will be converted into fe2 plus by liberating two electrons so in this case the iron which has a tendency to lose electron will lose two electrons from here and that two electrons will help in the oxidation of iron to fe2 plus and this fe2 plus will be now converted into fe3 plus later on but what we have to going to do is now we are going to study that if this occurs at anode region what would be occurring at the cathode region so let us see what happens at the cathode region so at cathode region what happens is oxygen will be reacted with four times of h plus and four times of e that is electron so as to convert into two times of h2 so from where did this o2 came so this o2 has came from the air so air has o2 that is oxygen so if a water droplet is present on a particular uh, iron block so what will happen is the air will which consists of o2 that o2 will be dissolved in this water droplet and this o2 which is dissolved in this water droplet will react with the h plus which is present in the water itself they will react with h plus and this four electrons that has been exhibited or that has been produced during the uh, oxidation process in this case the number of moles of electron is two but we if we multiply the whole equation by two itself then we could get two times of fe plus two times of fe2 plus plus four times of electron so this four times of electron they move towards the cathode region as we know that electrons move from anode to cathode so they move towards the cathode region and they have a formation of h2 so in this process basically an anode reaction and a uh, reaction at cathode result in the formation of h2o by converting the pure iron into an aqueous form of fe2 plus so let us see what is the overall reaction that we could get in this process so as i have said earlier to maintain this redox uh, reaction uh, the number of electrons are not equal in this case so what we are going to do is we are going to multiply this thing i'll multiply this by 2 again this by 2 and again if i multiply this by 2 so this will be 2 into 2 that is 4 electrons and if i take the overall reaction the reaction that i could get is this 4 electrons and this 4 electrons will cancel out each other and the thing that is left with us is 2 times of fe plus o2 plus 4 times of h plus that will result in two times of fe2 plus plus two times of h2 so in this case one thing is more concerned to uh, know about it that this h plus also plays a vital role in the formation of uh, or in uh, the conversion of the fe to fe2 plus so this means whenever acid rain also occurs then the process of rusting of iron also increases so not only the oxygen and not only the moisture plays a very vital role in conversion of an iron to its rust but the acid condition acidic condition also plays a very vital role in the formation of a uh, rust of iron so let us but this is not has been converted into rust yet it is just converted into fe2 plus so what will happen if this fe2 plus that could result in rust so what occurs actually let us see so this fe2 plus is known as basically ferrous ion so the ferrous ion is oxidized to form ferric ion so this will oxidize by liberating one electron and more 
the ions that is fe2 plus ions will get uh, oxidized this electron will be very much helpful and it will go towards the cathode region so as to make the reduction process and to form much more h2o and again that h2o will be very helpful in the corrosion of the particular iron so this process increases and it will go rapidly and rapidly until whole of the block of iron gets corroded so let us talk uh, about further thing so this fe2 plus will be converted into fe3 plus that is ferric ion and that ferric ion will combine with the oxygen that is present in the air with the content of the h2o so this will combine with oxygen to form ferric oxide so ferric oxide will combine with the oxygen which is dissolved in h2o2 and by the help of this they will form multiple times of hydrate of the iron that is of fe so in this case if multiple times of hydrate of iron is been formed that is known as rust actually so therefore two times of fe3 plus will combine with four times of h2o they will form fe2 o thrice dot h2o plus six times h plus this h2 will be combined with this ferric ion so as to produce fe2 o3 dot h2o in this this hydrate of the ferric oxide will convert into a process of known as rust and this rust plays a very vital role in the destruction of a particular iron and they also produce six times of h plus means and again an acidic condition so what happens is once the rust is been formed there are more chances for the iron to get corroded much more easily let me tell you that how it occurs I have taken the diagram again in this consideration so as you know that this Fe2 plus that is this ferrous ion which is converted into Fe3 plus and this during this process the electron will be left in the metal itself on the metal itself as well as when Fe3 plus is been combining with oxygen as well as is combining with the H2O molecules the rust is been producing so once the rust is been produced it will also produce six times of H plus in this case we have recently did so this six times of H plus will be acting on the cathode section because in this cathode section only the rust is been generating. So in this case, since earlier O2 plus four times of H plus, we have combined with four times of electron and form H2O. So in this case, the six times of H plus, the six moles of H plus that has been produced during the uh, conversion of Fe3 plus to a hydrate of uh, the ferric oxide again this would result in the formation of rust again this will process go on will go on continuing until all the metal get destructed so this thing is very uh, most difficult to control a particular uh, corrosion for a iron so that's the reason corrosion of iron is leads to the destruction of a metal and leads to destruction of the economic of in a particular country or of a particular state so this was a note on corrosion so i hope you have got an understanding that uh, how does it occurs a very simple yet a very concerning thing about us uh, when we are learning about it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have understood uh, that what is corrosion so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much